one trick I'd like to play on somebody is to blindfold them, take them to a suburb in Las Vegas, take the blindfold off and ask them where they are. And I expect I could get answers. I'm in Salt Lake City, I'm in Phoenix, I'm in Tucson, I'm in San Bernardino, and chances are they wouldn't guess the right city. We talk about these, this kind of characteristic as placeless or placelessness. And so how can we celebrate the unique qualities of the Western United States in the kinds of cities that we build? I think that's the real challenge. Usually sprawl is associated with low density residential development that does not have very good access to other kinds of services where we work or play. In the last 50 years, the character of urban growth has been very different than it was prior to the Second World War, in that we've become increasingly dependent on, especially the automobile, as, as a way of moving about the city. So one of the typical consequences of sprawl is that it turns sometimes farm fields and in other cases wilderness into completely different land use and land cover. And when we do that, we lose something. We might be paving over really important habitat for other species. And there's some ethical questions associated with whether or not we should have the ability or right to do so. One of the things that we're thinking about is how do you design with nature, not against nature? How do you design in an ecologically sensitive way that allows for the coexistence of people and other species that's a benefit to both communities. I think quite honestly that there's an appetite for it. People are looking for new ways of living within the city that respects this beautiful ecosystem what it can provide to people and, and others. <laughs>